It's the Beanie and Cecil Show. Come go sailing, we waited long enough. For Beanie and Cecil to run and John and Captain Huff and Huff. Ah! It's time for adventure. The boat, some fun. Oh, joy. Ah! With Cecil the sea six sea serpent and good old Beanie. Boy, 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 boy. Hmm? Hmm? Join us for fun with Beanie and... Lovable, gullible, harmless, harmless, ten foot tall and wet. Cecil the sea six sea serpent created by Bob Clement. I see. So come on, kids, let's flip our lids. I am the moon, cause I'll be Cecil. Your very own. Love all the cartoons. Adventure, time to have some fun. We're gonna meet Davy Cricket, who is tougher than anyone. His gun, old Betsy, his cap is made of raccoon. And now he's being Cecil in a Bob Clampett cartoon. <laughs> Davy Cricket. Men, according to this newspaper, Pioneer Pictures is offering $100,000 to the person who can find Davy Cricket and bring him back to Hollywood so they can make his life story. <laughs> now, here's where Davy Cricket was last seen, in the heart of 8-9 Tennessee, right here at Davy Cricket Thicket. Now, he hates Hollywood, so he's going to be hard to pin down. Therefore, the only way to get him under our thumb is to use tact. You got it? Yes, sir. We're going to pin him down with a thumbtack. Oh, cease. Yeah. What do you know? They're going to make the life of Davy Cricket. How low can you get? I've made bee pictures, but never cricket pictures. Ah, but 100 Gs, that's nothing to sneeze at. Don't laugh. If you think my studio's small, you should have seen the budget in my last picture. Now for a little wheeling and double dealing. I'm so flying, I found someone to con. A sign of Davy Cricket by Cracky. But my name ain't dishonest, John. Get lost, find Davy Cricket. Hey, there goes the cat. Here comes the wild cat. And there goes the bear. Here comes the bear bear. Here goes the red skin. Here comes the yellow red skin. Gosh, these Davy Cricket sure must be tough. of a lifetime. I'll make you a star. Picture it. Your name up in lights. Dishonest John presents a Dishonest John production produced, directed, and written by Dishonest John starring Dishonest John's newest discovery, you. And that's not all. You'll have a mansion in Beverly Hills. And when you go down Hollywood Boulevard, people will stop and stare. 
First, I'll have to change your name. Davy Cricket isn't commercial enough. Let me see. We'll call you Davy Crackpot. Now for your screen test. Yes, kid, I'm going to make you a big star. That does it, you Hollywood phony. Stand in. Stand in. Make up. Now in the next scene, you're an engine being chased by the cavalry. How? Like this. Charge! You to meet your leading lady, Bug. <laughs> leading lady, Bug? Man, she could lead me anywhere. Gosh, don't they make a cute looking couple? Who knows? When they get to California, they may get married. Married? Never. Why not? Remember the alimony. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> Baby Cricket, as happy as can be. Now he's a legend in the motion picture industry. Ooh-wee. How do you like this crazy picture? Armless, harmless. I like it, I like it, I like it. <laughs> But I like this one better. <laughs> Crazy. There's a strange object going the giddy split. His little beep and Tom and his rickety rocket ship. To straighten out the human race is what he plans on doing. Beep And now here's Beanie and Cecil in a Bob Clampett cartoon. Here we are at the horse middle. I'm sure anxious to find out what happened to our friendly enemy, Dishonest John. Hiya, DJ. How you feeling? <clears throat> Terrible. What happened? Well, it all started the day I read about a strange object straightening out the leading tower of pizza pie, turning off Niagara Falls, and filling up the Grand Canyon. I figured if I captured it, I could be as famous as Professor Wiener Von Bunn. So I set out to capture the strange object. I was cruising along in my sneaky snorkel, the SS Pole Eris Cat, when suddenly I spotted it. Beep, beep. I recognized him immediately from his picture in the papers. It was Beepin' Tom in his rickety rocket ship. So in the name of inhumanity, I decided to capture him. ay 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 that does it. If he wants to play rough, I can always come up with something. I'll attract him with my magnetic personality. <laughs> He'll get a charge out of this. Gotcha. When this 
didn't work, I decided to use my special long-range handy-dandy rocket grabber. If you want to get ahead in the world, you got to have pull. Hey, watch bombs away. Uh oh, I've got to work fast if I'm going to catch this beeping Tom. Aha! Uh -huh. You've got to get up pretty early in the morning to put one over on old DJ. Shake hands with a late sleeper. Yeah, ah. Uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try a gun. A big gun. <coughs> It's gone. It's gone. My headache's gone. Beep, beep. Finally, I decided to fight fire with fire. So I built my own spaceship. I think I'll mix this screwball up. Finished. Now for my test flight. Beautiful, beautiful works like a charm. This should make quite a splash in Washington. I think I've got all the bugs out of it. I've got a feeling someone's watching me. This guy's a regular beeping Tom. This time, there'll be no mistakes. Too. The Wright brothers had nothing on me. <laughs> Just call me one of the wrong brothers. <laughs> ah, there he is. <laughs> I wonder where that cotton picking coin ball can be. This calls for personal contact. This is what you might call climbing down the ladder to success. There's something fishy going on around here. That was a close one. It's great to be safe and back in my good old dependable rocket ship. Beep, beep. Hey, sucker, your rocket ship's right here. You won't get away this time. Time for beeper to cut out. I'll be sure it's you. And that's how I ended up here. But thank goodness I've seen the last of Beep and Tom. Beep, beep! Uh, ow! Castor oil! Oh. <laughs> DJ finally got a taste of his own medicine. Well, I'll be seeing you. And now, let's all play What's My Lion? Sign in, mystery guest, and then get What's My Lion? The boy sounds like a cat, I know. Tear along the dotted lion. Nope, not. He's got muscles as big as a balloon. <laughs> and now, here's Beanie and Cecil in a Bob Clanthead cartoon. Capture of Terralong the Dotted Lion. Before we go any further, our map. Men, we have just cut through Sandwich Islands and spotted the Thousand Islands dressing. Now here we are in the Vitamin C. We go up Cowrie Creek past Wheat Germ Jungle and just beyond Protein Plateau is our destination. Vitamin Pill Hill, where vitamins grow as big as beach balls and hang from the trees like, like clusters of giant grapes. Goodness gracious. Now all we have to do to be billionaires is borrow one of these vitamin trees and set up a vitamin bottling plant. And of course, there's only one obstacle between us and our fortune. Vitamin Pill Hill is guarded by a mighty mammoth mass of muscle. Tear along the dotted <laughs> lion. <laughs> Should be getting near. I see signs of civilization. T 
Carol Long's jungle gym, Big Tanny went to us. There's a healthy looking tree, a muscle beach. And then there he is, Carol Long, the dotted lion. What's that he's reading? Hmm, feel like a million at 40 by Gaylord, no carouser. Boo. What a health nut. Uh, exercise boy, if that's the ticket, hold that bicep and then flex that slab. Come on, you six, six, I say six, six, sycamore. Straighten up there. <laughs> You're getting a little flabby there, I say, flabby boy. Pull in, I say, pull in that stomach boy. <coughs> Throw out that chest boy. <coughs> okay, you nutheads, let's pull in. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You're fighting me, boy. It don't pay, I say, it just don't pay to skip your daily exercise. Uh, 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 uh. He gads, here comes tear along the dotted line. Quick men make like a tree. Early to bed and early to rise. Oh no, look at that shameful flab boy. I say flab, you gotta get rid of the dead wood. <laughs> if you want a lift boy, I say a lift. Yes, sir. You gotta pick the right kind of fireman. Yes, sir. In order to have bounce, I say bounce. You gotta put a little vitamin B in your carcass. There's nothing like vitamin B's. Well, that Terralong's really gonna be shook when he finds his tree missing. Tree missing? <laughs> it's Terralong. Run for your life. <laughs> what luck? A bicycle. including our moon goon. And now here's Beanie and Cecil in a Bob Clampett cartoon. A trip to the Schmoon. Gosh, Cecil, 
You can sure get stars in your eyes up here. Yeah, it's your starry moony juni. Well, we've left our Earth and we'll soon pass the moon. Behind the moon is the moon's own moon. <laughs> this moon, yeah. A planet no one ever seen. But now, thanks to the scientific genius of the world's greatest mind, if my own, we will be the first to land on a strange new planet. Yeah. Gosh, this is real exciting. Now I know how Columbus felt when he discovered Texas. See, <laughs> so. Do uh, you think we'll meet engines on the moon, or animals, or people, or... Or like, nothing. You mean like, nothing, nothing? And I have something here that I created with my very active imagination. This is what the Schmoon people may look like. All heads with small feet, or all bodies with pinheads. Or they may even be in a product, or bug-like, just big, fat blobs. <laughs> Gee. Men, we are to return. This calls for men of courage, men to face the unknown, men that are dead game. I'm game. Let's leave it at that. Petey and Cecil, look. Moon. Dead day. Straight ahead, sir. Gee. Let old Cease wrap his eyeball around the telescope for a look-see at what we're getting into. Hey, if I didn't know better, I'd swear the Schmoon's rear end was missing. Prepare to land. Schmoon minus nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, flight private Cecil, investigate the situation. Aye, aye, sir. Let's see now. It has a sky above, just like on Earth. Say, and it has a sky below, too. A sky below? If there's anything I like, it's a quite uninhibited planet. I, Captain Huffenpuff, name this stuff Huffenpuff Bluff. Now, as we all know, there's no life on the schmoon. Now oh, you're a good group. Why, it's only a big fat blob. How would you like to take a trip to the moon? Well, now, that is real neighborly, but you see... A little traveling music, please, and away I go. There goes the kids. Good kids? But it's Beanie and the Schmoon Goon. Help, Cecil, help. Then away we go. I fall into the... Beanie boy. Cecil, help. I'm the Beanie. Help, Cecil, help. Help, Cecil, help. Now you've really got my dander up. You big fat blob! Why, you... Oh, pardon me, little old whistly mother from Pasadena, but have you seen a big fat... blob? Sucker! <laughs> I'd better change soon or I'll be all washed up. <laughs> this looks like a job for Super Cecil. <laughs> That's what I call using my head. Oh, would you like a trip to the moon, goon? Soon? A little thing music. Oh. Beanie boy. Oh, I'm glad to see you. Oh, brother. Oh, I'm I hurt you, Mr. Goon. Oh, I tickle. <laughs> 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 Look how he sings. Beat this on is John, the villain of the year. A crummy crumb, a no good bum who sports a sneaky sneer. Yeah, uh, uh. 
Watch the birdie. He's a dirty guy, a greasy, gruesome goo. And now here's Beanie and Cecilene about Clampet Cartoon. <laughs> Grime doesn't pay. Hi, dishonest son. Hi, DJ, you dirty guy. Beanie boy, Cecil, you old tall toad, you, it's good to see you. What happened, DJ? How did you get in this predicament? Well, it all started suddenly last summer. I was in my living room watching the news on TV. The district attorney's office has issued orders to stamp out this filthy, messy crime wave. And at this very moment, the police are cleaning up the city, getting rid of all those messy, old, dirty guys. Warden, uh, the new prisoner is here. Good, show him in, Hobart. Ah, how long you in for, son? 199 years. Well, that's not too bad. It could have been for life. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Your Honor. Anything else? You'll do all right here. You just keep your nose clean. Thank you, sir. Well, there goes an honest man. Now, let me see. It should be time for my... Oh, my. My goodness. My watch is missing. That's strange. So is my wallet and my gun. Gee, I wonder if I... No, no, it couldn't be. There... If there's one thing I am, it's a good judge of character. Get up to the side of you. Okay, watch out for me now. All right, you guys. You know the rules. No secrets. Besides, recess is over. Back to your pads. Pass it on. The brakes of ten. Pass it on. The brakes of ten. The brakes of ten. The brakes at ten. When? At ten. Hurry, Elmo. It's two minutes to ten. We gotta get there in time for the break. Hey, you guys. Did we make it? Yeah. The coffee break just started. With or without cream, fellow. Make mine black. By the way, Hobart, did you see the warden's new hat? Oh, it's absolutely stunning. <laughs> and the new blackjack that the upstairs guard has. Oh, my. I've never seen anything so becoming. <laughs> they can't keep me in here. Yeah. No jail can hold old dishonest on. Are you with me, Stanley? I'm with you, Chief. I can't wait to get out of here. I'm so sick of looking at stripes and bars. Uh, Zelda, I knew you'd come back to me someday. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Stanley, let's try a different approach. We've been east, west, and south. Now let's try 380 yards north by northwest, 14 degrees south longitude, and 80 degrees west latitude. Sounds great, Chief. I can't understand why I didn't think of this. Gosh, stupid Stanley. It's sure good to be back safe and sound in our own secure cell. Hello, TV inmates. Do you know whose birthday it is today? Dishonest John. For you, tis honest, John. For me? Sure, and then must pay a crumb cake. Oh, there's a note. May I? Be my guest. Here, DJ. Inside you will find a hammer, a file, a wrench, a pair of pliers, a screwdriver, and a ladder. P.S. If the warden reads this, I'm only kidding. Sign Mother. Here you are, DJ. Butterfingers. All right, wise guy. Eat. Eat it. <laughs> Come on now, every bit of it. That's 
the last I'll see of that place. Goodbye forever. Welcome back, Warden. Come on, Stanley. Be very quiet. Now we'll climb over the... Yes, got time. Enough of this foolishness. The only thing I dig is getting out. I'm out. I'm out. <clears throat> Way out. I made it. I'm free. Poison Ivy. Oh, no. <laughs> DJ, did you really break out? Did I? From head to toe. <laughs> you and your dirty tricks. That'll teach you. Grime doesn't pay. <laughs> Serpented Uncle Captain too. A prairie schooner will take us to Buffalo Country soon. And now here's Beanie and Cecil in about Clampet Cartoon. <laughs> Beanie's Buffalo Hunt. Greedy boy, let's check the map given to me by the great Buffalo Bill himself. <clears throat> No, we're right here at Prairie Mason, where the law ends. We inch past ancient country, right smack dab into the abode of the biggest, meanest, toughest killer type buffalo in all the West. Buffalo Bull. <laughs> I better go below and rest. For the rest of the hunt, that is. <laughs> 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 Reverse it. Right. <laughs> okay, sis. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Bub. Guy. Pop's the name. My name's Gun. I'm an old engine fighter, but I had to quit. Why? I run out of old engines. That's a good one. <laughs> I'd like to see you do that again. What do you mean? He did. Hank Turton. Hey, I'm a personal guide. We can't afford no personal guide. Wait then, gold ding it. How about an impersonal guide? A uh, cut rate. An impersonal guide? Hot diggity dog. Okay, Popkin, sir. You're hired to guide us to Buffalo Bull. All right, then. Fire me. Wagon trains. Westward. Westward. Oh, Cecil. Whoa, Cecil. <laughs> I hope I'm not being too personal with our impersonal guide. Straddle of the Buffalo Bull. <laughs> Look out, we're heading right for that big black rock. See, so drop anchor. My eyes, sir. <laughs> Woman driver? Where are we, Pop Gun, sir? Uh, let me see. Uh, it looks like Buffalo Country. It <laughs> smells like Buffalo Country. <laughs> it is Buffalo Country! <laughs> Hello, B Buffalo Bull, S -s sir. Ha, 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 see, 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 so? You called? See? 
There goes a good kid. And there goes a good buffalo bull. Buffalo bull? Help! Jesus, help! Toto! Hey, Toto, Toto! Hey, Toto, Toto, Toto! Hey, 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 Oh boy, boy boy. Here boy. Hey Toro, over here buddy. Here. Oh, 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 oh. Toro, oh, oh, Toro, Toro, Toro. Hey, hey, Toro. <laughs> now Buffalo Bull has learned that bullying doesn't play. For Cecil the Sea Six Sea Serpent always saves a day. On Volume 3, friends, our travels bring us face to face with... Look, it's a bird! Wonderbolt, the Wonder Call! How's that for an entrance? Hmm. And things really begin to happen when our hero, Cecil, runs into dishonest John. <laughs> and that's not all he runs into. And when DJ hears about the reward for Thunderbolt's capture, it sure brings out the beast in him. Yeah. My card, sir? Yeah, uh, uh. And that's just the beginning of our adventures, folks. As we approach the exotic city of Ashkanistan, who do you think we bump into? Yeah, uh, uh. It is I, the Silas John, alias Sengood, the Sailor Man. And wait till you see DJ's little Hokey Pocus partner. Seasick Greenie, the genie, with a light brown tennis shoe. Stop rocking the boat. Watch this sneaky sneak attack. Okay, G-Boy, make me a frogman. All righty. Here's one for the toad. Well, that bit really bombed. I genie. Get me back on my old... And that's not the only time DJ blows up. Operation blow up. Even when Cecil meets his first sweetheart, Cecilia, DJ comes between them. And brother, what a chase. DJ, you dirty guy! <laughs> Where it ends, nobody knows. Except me. And as to all our viewers, we'll just say so long for Greedy <laughs> and Sizzle and Uncle Captain and Yeah, ah, uh -huh. it's on his job. We really enjoyed being with you, but now we'll have to say... So long, kids, wind up your wish, we'll wish for day real soon. With Beanie Boy. <laughs> and your obedience will be in a Bob Planted Tiger. Thank <laughs> you.